Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your love reading. Uh, please remember it is a general reading and if I give timing, timing is flexible. Everything else is in the description box. Uh, information on personal readings. Uh, you can check out the info on my website, but please uh, email me before making any payments. There is a playlist link below if you'd like to check out your other signs for more messages and guidance. Uh, also below uh, my giveaway, I do do a monthly giveaway. Details, uh, you can check that out to enter. And then lastly, my new channel called Heal to Love 333. It's a healing, meditation, and manifestation channel. So I've put popular videos below if you'd like to check them out. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate all of your support. So let's get started with your reading, Sag. I'm going to pull your energy, your person's energy, the mutual energy. We'll clarify as needed, and then uh, we'll do the outcome and some romance angels. So let's get started, Sagittarius. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, let's get Sagittarius's current energy. What is Sagittarius's current energy? Hey, okay, we have the moon card. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. Let's get Sagittarius's person's energy. We have the uh, Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Let's get the mutual energy for Sagittarius and their person. Okay, you have the Temperance, your energy there, Sag. You have the Fool card. You have the Three of Swords. And you have the wheel. All right. And bottom of the deck here, you have the seven of wands. All right. Let's start uh, with your energy, Sagittarius. Okay. So you have the moon card, the ace of cups, the seven of wands. All right. Yeah, I definitely get here. Um, I feel there is a, a lot of emotion in your situation. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, um, or even a Scorpio here. Now, I'm getting here that there is a situation where, you know, I feel you have feelings for this person. There's a, a sense here of feeling, I'm going to say exhausted. Okay, your readings always come out that you're working hard, Sagittarius. Uh, but I'm actually feeling here like you're feeling almost defeated. You're feeling maybe that you want to give up on a situation. But this is a card of perseverance. All right. I feel here, um, you know, I, I feel like this is an energy of someone you're dealing with. Okay, not a new love. I feel this is an energy of it's going to take patience, maybe a little bit of time is what I'm getting as well. But uh, I just feel like there is a lot of emotion here, okay, and that you do have feelings for someone, but there could be some sort of fear here of getting hurt is the energy I'm getting as well. Now, your person's energy, you have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, and you have the Four of Cups. So I feel your person is definitely very passionate about you. I feel like they think a lot about you. And I'm also getting here, um, I feel like they are hoping, um, I feel like they are hoping to, gosh, I don't know why I'm getting stuck here. I feel this is somebody who may have options, but I feel like they think about you a lot, okay? Um, so, you know, it can be that, you know, they're feeling that they may have missed an opportunity with you is what I'm getting. You may be dealing with somebody here, too, who felt they had options and somebody who, you know, may have rejected you when it came to love. All right. But I feel like this person has a lot of passion for you. They have a very strong soulmate connection with you. 
I feel like they would like a new beginning, okay, with the with the cards that I am seeing here. You have uh, the temperance card, definitely your energy here. I feel like there's a situation here where the two of you, um, and I'm going to rearrange the cards because this is how I'm seeing it. The two of you uh, with the temperance and the three of swords. It definitely shows there was some hurt in the situation. Um, it's something that already happened, uh, but I feel like there is going to be uh, healing in the situation. I feel like you're going to overcome this with the Seven of Wands. I feel also here you have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So if you have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy, uh, I don't know if I said the other signs. Definitely your energy here, Sag, uh, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. And then you have the Chariot here as well. So I feel there is a opportunity for the two of you to overcome uh, this painful event whatever happened I do see a separation here with the four of swords I feel too somebody was very indecisive in the situation and uh, the next card you have is the five of wands so I'm getting here with the five of wands as well that there was a situation here where the two of you just didn't see eye to eye on something all right but I do feel like you're going to overcome this, you and this person. I do feel like they are coming towards you with communication. You have the chariot card here as well, strong cancer energy. So I feel after you and this person have uh, some sort of conversation, I do feel like things can move forward. Let me put these back in the order they were. <laughs> All right. So let's clarify some cards. I want to clarify. Um, oh, and I didn't actually uh, go over the last two cards here. You have the wheel and you have the full card. So I feel there's an opportunity for a new beginning. I do feel like you and this person are going to overcome these challenges. Um, and I feel like this, this is things turning out in your favor. Okay, definitely things turning out in your favor. But let's clarify. I want to clarify the three of swords. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Three of Swords here, please? You have the Star card. You have the Two of Swords. And you have the Emperor. Okay, bottom of the deck here, you have the Hierophant. So, Sagittarius. Um... I'm going to start out. If you have the Two of Swords here... Okay, so I feel there that in this situation you may be holding back again fear of getting hurt or taking some sort of action in the situation. Uh, you have the star card and you have the emperor. So it, I am seeing here strong Aries energy, but I'm also seeing here um, that you may be holding back in the situation because I feel that the person that you are dealing with that they may be trying to be in control. Uh, you also have a strong Aquarius energy here. Okay, there's definitely showing healing and balance that's needed in this situation. And I feel someone in the situation is trying to be in control, okay, because of the hurt, because of the pain or loss in the situation. Okay, so this could be you or your person is what I'm getting here. Whoever's holding back um, in the situation, I feel like it might be you, Sagittarius, but it may be your person as well. And I'm seeing here, too, this definitely has to do with some sort of commitment here. You also have the Queen of Cups. Look at that. You have the Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, and you have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, and you have the Three of Cups. I feel there's opportunity for the you and this person to be happy. All right, um, let's see what this Fool card is about. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Fool card? What is this new beginning here? Or somebody needing to take that leap of faith. You have the Queen of Swords. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And you have the Six of Swords. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is a feeling of being stuck, okay? Or maybe there is no movement because somebody here has the fear of taking action. I feel here, Sagittarius, um, you got the Fool. I'm just going to say here, you have the, 
the full card right underneath this as well. Uh, and that's what we were clarifying. So I feel Sagittarius, you have the Queen of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Swords. I feel definitely there was conflict in a connection, relationship, or even about commitment. Um, somebody here I feel is very, uh, may have been very cold, distant, um, and I feel sad to you, you set your boundaries with this person. Now you have the Six of Swords energy. This person could live at a distance, but I'm also getting here too. Uh, this is a new beginning. So I feel whatever this conflict was, this heart, this loss, I feel uh, the two of you are going to overcome this if you're wanting to work things out with this person. So let's pull the possible outcome in the situation. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible outcome in the situation for Sagittarius and their person? Let's get uh, three cards, please. All right. We have the Knight of Cups. So we have the Tower. And you have the Queen of Cups. Look at that. We have a couple. And you have the High Priestess. So we actually have very strong uh, Pisces and Cancer energy here and Scorpio as well. Let's see what we have here. Look at that. And the Lover's card. Okay, strong Gemini. So I feel like your person intuitively knows um, that you are the one for them, okay? I feel like your person definitely wants to work on things. Look at that. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So I feel, you know, this definitely can be a twin flame. You got Four of Wands and the Temperance card here, okay? So this, is, this was destined to happen. This was faded, I'm getting as well. So I feel your in-person knows, okay, very intuitively here that this is a very strong connection. They see you as uh, their partner. Now you have uh, the Knight of Cups. I'm going to just show you here. You have the Queen of Cups. Okay, there's a pair there. A lot of emotion here between you and this person. You have the Tower card here as well. So I feel in the past, um, there could have been something here that happened where the emotions got in the way for both of you. Okay, now whether this was about um, fear or whether someone got emotional. But like I said, I feel like the two of you weren't seeing things eye to eye. Okay, so... There is a tower uh, moment uh, coming up, okay? It can just be that this person is uh, going to reach out to you, but let's uh, clarify the tower. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the tower card here, please? Why is the tower card here? Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Let's get one more. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the tower card here, please? Oh. The world and the ten of swords. Okay, and bottom of the deck here you have the queen of cups. Okay, again, very strong uh, water energy here. So you have the two of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the ten of swords. And um, so I feel like this is a situation, like I said, I feel like you're feeling defeated or you're feeling like you're wanting to give up in this situation. And some of you may even be open to new love uh, is what I'm getting here. But I feel, you know, there is a choice. Now, it can be that you got new love coming in here, but you, you're still going back and forth about this connection that I'm seeing here. This feels like somebody that you already know. Now, um, so there is a sense here of... It may very well be that this is an on and off connection. Okay, you've been on and off with this person, you know, more than once, you know, more than twice. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and you have the World card. All right, so I feel what's happening here. I feel there's a chance for a new beginning. I feel like um, in the past, this was not a stable connection, or this person you were dealing with was not. Uh, you know, looking for commitment or maybe they were, you know, more about the passion in the past and they felt like they had other options. But I feel there's going to be a shift, a change here. 
um, that's going to bring about a new beginning for you and this person. I feel like it's going to be more stable than what it has been uh, before. Okay, so let's uh, pull some Romance Angel cards and see what additional messages come out for you. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Uh, thank you, Romance Angels. What messages do you have for Sagittari Sagittarius in love? Okay, so you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. I'm going to say take that one how it resonates with you, but I feel, you know, this could be... Maybe there were, was um, interference here with children in some sort of way. But it also be, can be healing that inner child, okay? Whoever the, uh, the person here who has fears, okay, who's holding back has a fear. Um, but let's pull the next card and see what else comes out. You have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, so your person may have been trying to control the situation, and that might be because of their inner child here, okay? Fear of getting hurt, all right? But I feel like that's on your side here, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel like you have fears about this situation. Trying to uh, maybe control the situation or control the timing. But let's pull another card. Look at that. Re reconciliation, someone for your past is returning. And yes, that's right here with the full card. A new beginning here. I do feel your person is returning. Let's uh, get another card. Look at that. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So yes, I do feel uh, you and this person are definitely going to discuss um your situation there's too strong of a connection between you and this person now the bottom of the deck here you have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments so i feel through conversation um and healing with this connection i feel like the two of you could work this out you know if you're wanting reconciliation uh, I do see there could possibly also be a new love coming into your life as well if you're not wanting reconciliation. Uh, but I feel like this is a very strong connection between you and this person. So Sagittarius, I hope you gained some clarity here today. Uh, again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.